Hey there, welcome back to A Homestead. This beautiful piece of property out here. I am actually standing on a teepee platform. They take it down during the winter so it don't blow away. And that there is the storage shed for all the furniture and stuff for the teepee. What I'm working on this week is the customer wants to build a structure off to the side of this building. Basically, I guess you could call it a kitchenette, but there won't be any like cooking appliances or anything like that. It's basically just going to be a sink with um, some countertops. I mean, you could brush your teeth or cook, but uh, it'll just be kind of a space to go and do your thing. It's going to mirror the structure. It's just going to be um, have the same siding and the roofing and all that, but have an open front on it. I would say it's gonna be a Pinterest worthy type of building. Um, the customer is uh, an architect and has a very keen eye for detail and just loves to make beautiful things and allows me to make beautiful things. She's the artist, I'm just the paintbrush. <laughs> so, got the pier set, let's get the framing lumber going. Let's get started. Alrighty, let me take a second and uh, kind of explain what's going on here and uh, point out some things that might be helpful if you're doing something like this. So we're adding to an existing structure. I'm actually kind of building this freestanding. Um, it's not attached to that building at all. Uh, once we put up the walls, there'll be some attachment to this other building, but this floor structure isn't. A couple things to think about when you're, if you're doing something like this, trying to match another building. For example, on this building, I actually set these joists about two inches off of the existing building. That way I have room for a uh, rim joist to go out there, along with, uh, we're gonna do sh um, shingle siding on here, and I wanna put half inch plywood on top of that, so that will give me enough room to um, put all that stuff on and not be beyond. One of the things about building, you have to think like 20 steps ahead. So yeah, just you know, think, think about what you're adding to this building as it's going. You'll notice that there's a little bit of spread on these um, 
piers and girders. That is because I'm actually putting a wall right here and I wanted the girders and beam to be right underneath that wall just to help take that load. Uh, also, one thing I'm gonna add is a double two by six here on this edge because I'm putting a wall back here. What are you barking at? What are you barking at? Massey, relax. What we're using here for decking is two by six cedar. Uh, this is a pretty blonde cedar, not your uh, Western red, but it uh, looks pretty good. With a lot of decking materials, they're not gonna have a square edge on them. So this one's about an eighth of an inch out. So it's good to just square it out. On the other end, I'll leave that and cut it when I finish them all and that'll give it a nice good straight edge. So let's cut one inch, one edge square and uh, go from there. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. So typically when I uh, put decking in, I'll usually put a spacer. It's good to put a spacer in. For this one, I'm gonna use just uh, 16 penny nails and I'll usually add one on either end. So here we go again, uh, winter in California. It's like 70 degrees out. <laughs> so we got the decking down, secured, good to go. Next thing we're gonna work on is framing. What's going on here is there's gonna be about a six foot opening from the corner of this building to about here. There'll be like a 28 inch um, wall on the side here. On the back, so on, on the side, there'll be just a solid wall that goes through. And then on the back there will be a kind of a storage area with like two barn doors uh, and then in the middle about two-thirds of the way in over here there'll be uh, another wall that separates the storage area from the kitchenette sink countertop area here so lots of framing to do trying to match this old building so uh, it's gonna take a little bit of a uh, diagnosing and see what's going on with this thing to match over here so let's get started
All right, so I wanted to give a quick tip on framing layout. Rather than making my layout off of this stud, because then it wouldn't be correct, what you do is you hook your outside wall and measure over and start your layout there. As you can see, this one is 23 and a quarter. That is because it's gonna be 24 inches on center and 23 and a quarter is half of a stud, uh, half of inch and a half. So that'll be the center of the stud will be at 24. And then what you can do from there is set your tape on that mark there and then mark out your stud layout 24 or 16 and then mark it X to the uh, the side where you want your stud to be and that'll make your stud be on center perfect at 24 or 16 so just uh, put that in your pocket this is a little crude uh, unorthodox framing style but uh, I don't really have too much room to be doing double top plates and stuff like that so I just do with what I got um, what I'm doing here to attach these two walls is just use a strap, a mechanical fastener to kind of hold them together. Should work out pretty good. And then I did put a string here to kind of help me with my layout. And uh, the string goes tight here and then down there. I added a uh, bar clamp to hold it down to the plate. And that gave me the um, what the top plate height should be. And then also my angle, as you could, I did, did that two by four and marked the angle. That uh, helped out a lot. Let's get to framing. Mm -hmm. 